Hey fam, so welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Today we are going to discuss He Who Finds a Wife. This book right here that is written by Stefan Lebossier. He released this book in 2015 and can I just say how much I really enjoyed this book? I think that I actually enjoyed it better than God Where's My Boaz. The only reason why I say that, just, just follow me. <laughs> only reason why I say that is because he's talking to the men in this one. And I think because I am a woman reading the words that he have for the men, I can say, you know what? He's right. He's right. He's right. He's right. So, so I think that I enjoyed it more from that aspect because I am a woman and I just really wanted to hear what he was telling our men. And also because I enjoyed, um, God, where's my Boaz so much. I just wanted to make sure that I came and gave you men some things to think about. And I would definitely encourage you guys to go ahead and purchase this book to support our brother. Okay, so first of all, he starts off by saying that this book isn't just about finding your wife. And he's not here to judge you, that God will be the guide behind his principles and how marriage is made to bless you. I also love the fact that he uses the um, scripture of Proverbs 18 and 22. And it basically says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and receives favor from the Lord. So I will say that a lot of people leave out the second part, the receives favor from the Lord. Marriage is meant to bless you, not hurt you, not to... Um, deal with all of the negative things that are associated with getting marriage. And then again, the divorce rate is um, astronomical and you don't want to get into a marriage only to think about getting divorced. So I understand all of that, but he's basically letting you know that that is not what you should be focused There's on. Tons of information for you men out there to go ahead and absorb this and be able to incorporate this into your relationships and when you're trying to find your wife. So let's just first off say that I love the fact that he definitely uses the biblical aspect aspect to this book. Absolutely love that. Y'all already know Christian, God is definitely a pillar in my life. So definitely love that aspect of the book. I love the fact that he definitely keeps it real. He is not sugarcoating anything to make you feel good, to make you feel better. His book is about opening up your eyes and letting you know what's really important and why finding and keeping a wife is so very important. He also gives countless examples about the negative things that are associated with marriage and why you should not be focusing on those negative things. Just remember the um, verse that I just read, Proverbs 18, 22, the second half. You receive favor when you find a wife from the Lord, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, going back to what I liked about it. He tells you not to focus solely on the physical. I know that you guys are um, physical. You, you, you see what you like and you kind of go after it. But don't just focus on what you actually see physically because you could put yourself in a worse state than what you started off with. And that you should follow your spirit, what your spirit is telling you, and not your eyes. I know that you guys are um, um, physical creatures. Absolutely know that. But going beyond the physical, what else does she have to offer? If it's just her pretty face and her fine body, she can't handle conversation. She don't cook. She don't clean. She's not there taking care of you when you really need it. She's not there for you to lay on her shoulder and if you need to get it out and cry. She's not there for any of that. Only thing she has is this hot body. What you left with. So he just he gives you lots of thought-provoking content within his book. Love that. Um, he definitely tells you how to be a leader and how can you expect for the woman to be submissive and follow you if you don't know how to lead her. That's just food for thought right there. And that really stuck with me because it makes a lot of sense. I know that a lot of men talk about the women nowadays are not submissive, but that's really not true. The truth of the matter is because I am a woman and I have these conversations and I listen to what women say, it's not that we're not submissive anymore. 
It's the fact that we're not going to be submissive to just anybody, to just any man that comes along because you're the man and you think that I'm supposed to be submissive. What are you actually um, bringing to the table that makes me say, okay, I can back down. I can actually let him be the man here and I can be submissive. So it's not that the women cannot be submissive nowadays. Everybody just don't get that. You have to earn that. You have to show me that I can be submissive to you. That I don't have to worry about you being on a power trip because you're the man and I'm supposed to do everything that you want me to do because you're the man. That is, that's not the way that it works. So anyway, that's my two cents. Moving on. He makes it a point to let you know that you have to acknowledge when you are hurting. You have to. And that when you do this, that you are not a weak man. Please understand that you are not a weak man when you show your emotions, when you, when you tell your woman that you are hurting. That's not weak. That's actually powerful. That actually lets me know that I am in your world. I am a part of your world. You trust me enough to break down and not feel like I'm going to strip you of your manhood when you do it. You have to believe that. You have to know that, which is why you have to choose the right partner because everybody don't get that either. But a lot of us just hold on so tight to our emotional um, side that we actually don't connect. We're not connecting when we do that at all. So I love that. I brought up the biblical factor of it, and I'm just going to read to you one last scripture. It is James 5 and 16. And it says, therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Now that is just powerful and effective with me just reading it. You have to confess your sins and you have to pray for you. You have to pray for your partner. I truly believe that the family that prays together stays together. Like we have to put the order of uh, the way that it's supposed to be. The order in my book and the order in a lot of people's book is God, family, work. And a lot of people have that order so completely messed up that they wonder why things are so out of balance. Your order is, it's not in order. God family work. So many people put work way up there. Family is way at the bottom and God is nowhere in the picture. And then they wonder why they are struggling. They wonder why they can't pay their bills. They wonder why their marriage is falling apart. Why, 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 why? But your order, order, your order is not an order. So anyway, love this book. He who finds a wife, the subtitle is a man's guide to finding the woman and love that he deserves. He also made it a point to just say that it's not just about finding your wife. He, did you see this book? Let me see. I didn't even tell you how many pages it was. It's 165 pages, but this book gives you so many examples. And that, that the, the list that I just gave you was not even hitting the tip of the iceberg of all of the great information that he has for my men within this book. Go out there and support Stefan Lebossier, our brother in Christ. Thank you guys for listening. As always, ladies, share this with the men in your life that you know need to hear this and absolutely pick up the book. If you know that they are a reader, even if they are not a reader, you guys can actually read these books together. You can discuss them. This is a way that you guys can bond with each other. There are countless ways that you can bond with your mate and make it into a discussion. You know, you, you buy two books. Both of y'all read them. Both of y'all discuss them. You buy He Who Finds a Wife. That way he understands what, what, what um, Stefan was actually saying to you as a woman. Find better ways to connect with your mate and you'll notice that your relationship will be that much healthier and that much more tight-knit and strong. And the devil will be, have a hard time getting in between you two. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. All right. Thank you for listening. Share it. Like I just said, 
Um, put a comment below, especially if you've read this. That would be great. Give me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Two-finger salute.